So the title of my new book is Reflexes, Movement, Learning and Behaviour. And it's really a resurrection and expansion of the very first book I wrote way back in 1996. Because at that time, Peter Blythe and David McGlown, who'd done all the groundwork for the INPP method, had developed all the clinical materials, but there was very li little written up that actually explained what they were doing. So initially it was written as a very small, slim book talking about reflexes, talking about the senses, and some basic ideas that teachers could use in the classroom to help. I have learned a lot in the last 35 years, or at least I hope I have. <laughs> so everything really that I have learned since that first title has been put into the new book, including the evidence, the research, the history of INPP, and changing the language from in the early days when Peter and David were starting out, they were very um, authoritarian, I think, in the language that they used. They used to say a certain reflex will cause X, Y, and Z. What we have learned since is it will not necessarily cause it. It might do. And is often you have specific problems that are associated with a certain reflex. So I suppose the whole language has been brought up to, to date to make it reflect INPP as it is today. So who is this book for? Well, I think it's for everyone. Uh, and although it's quite academic, anyone can take what they need from it. So parents can understand better why their child is like he or she is. Um, medics or professionals can understand the language of the science behind it. And teachers, perhaps most importantly, its very first title was actually a teacher's window into the child's mind. Te teachers can actually help to understand why children in their class are not responding to their teaching in the same way that other children are. So I hope it's for everyone, but you pick what you want out of it. <laughs>